Hello, hello you guys, Dexter here and welcome back to my channel. I know that my voice is very, very hyped up, but it is only 2 o'clock in the morning. It's March 22, it is the day that we are going to be going to San Francisco. But we are going to be transiting through Hamad International Airport because I'm taking Qatar Airways. And then I'm going to be meeting Steph and JC there. And then we're going to be flying together to San Francisco. And then I think Red is going to catch up with us on a few days after. So let's go ahead and do this. And then this is also going to be my first time traveling through the new airport here in Abu Dhabi. So I'll hopefully have the time to take you around and explore the new airport here in Abu Dhabi. All right, let's go and do this. Alrighty guys, so we're already inside the airport and well, it was a very, very, very quick and very smooth check-in and from check-in to immigration, passport control and things like that. Super, super, super easy and super, super fast. Well, basically maybe because there's less people, but besides that, the whole technology of no need for, well, no need for passport basically, but uh, it's still, there is still the passport thing, but uh, it's all good, super fast, super easy, super convenient. And we're here inside. Let's start exploring. We have roughly two hours to explore around. So start exploring and I'll show you around. Welcome to Abu Dhabi Airport. So we actually came through that side and that whole area is duty free for perfumes, skincare, cosmetics. That's all the brands that you can, I mean, there's everything is there. And then on this particular side, you can actually see boutiques that are available. Like uh, you have Gucci, you have Hermes, and then you have coffee shops. Right? Oh, there's Arabic on top, super good. And then we're actually right in the middle. And then you have co um, chocolate shops or chocolate shops that are having coffee shops. And there's, there's like so much to do. So I think when, you're, when you come here, you need a lot more time to really explore and check out different stores, different shops because they're super beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Plus, it is very clean. Like, I don't know if you can see that there. Everything is super, super clean. Okay, so let us go up and then I think upstairs is where you find all the food, food area, which is super good because you have, we will have a very good view of uh, majority of the airport or basically the center central part of the airport it is like oh my god super good and also you have to watch your time because when you're inside here it doesn't feel like an airport it feels like a mall so it's easy to get lost it's really easy to get lost but you just have to make sure to watch your time and enjoy the time <laughs> So up here is basically the food court where you have TGI Friday, you have Operation Falafel, Patamar, there's a whole lot more. Texas Chicken, Burger King, there's a whole lot of options right there. So if you're into fast food, you can actually come up here. And then let's explore the other side, which is where Abaca, um, Arabica is, not Abaca. Let's explore the other side the abaca side. Oh no, not abaca. Why am I saying abaca all the time? Arabica. Let's go there.
Okie dokie, so I just came down from Arabica and super super funny because the lady that is always serving me coffee in uh, Galleria Mall, Arabica Galleria Mall is now transferred here or actually she actually I don't know if she asked to be transferred here or she was just transferred here but she's already here and I saw her, super super nice, super cool <laughs> What are the odds of seeing familiar faces in a new place that I haven't seen, right? Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and explore more and then uh, I'll show you more. Let me flip the camera. And then I'm on this side for the fashion area. You have Kenzo, you have Boss, you have Coach right here, Ralph Lauren, oh this is Polo. And that's Michael Kors, super good, like super good. Super nice, super nice. Alrighty guys, so from the world of fashion, it's actually right in front of me. We're now going to enter the world of watches. These are like not luxury, but high-end, high-end, high-end watches. We're going to enter the world of high-end watches. Let me show you. So we're here in the watches area. They have Longin, Zenith, there's Zerado. And then you have like Swatch, Mido. We have Tissot. Oh, cute. There's a coffee shop in, the side, in between. Which is nice. A very nice touch. Ah, they have Omega. And there is Hermes watches right here. Aside from the boutique, there's Hermes watches stock. Wow. Love that. And then... They have Hublot, Chopard, and Breitling. Very nice. And this is Omega. And I don't know if you noticed the chandelier. Not, not the chandelier. But this chandelier. Lovely. Super nice. Alright, so from the watches, I don't know if you can see, like, look, there is Lulu inside the airport. For those of you who are in the Middle East, you would know that Lulu is a supermarket. But this one, of course, they have like all the packed dates and all those um, dried fruits and all that. And it's, I mean, I'm in near gate A. They have Jones the Grocer. And then Lulu. And there's also for tobacco. And there is also chocolates for La Derach. Super cool, super cool. A lot, a lot of things are available inside the airport, like inside this airport. I mean, this is still brand new. They opened, I think they opened November, November last year. And then like, uh, there's already a lot of these stores at the moment. So imagine if like, this is gonna be fully, fully open. There's gonna be a whole lot, a whole lot of different stores and you will really get lost inside if you don't mind your time. <laughs> Okay, um, after gate A, that is what is in gate A, we're going to look for something to eat. I'm a bit hungry. I mean, I think I just need coffee and something to eat. A little bit something to eat. We'll uh, look for something to eat and then we'll try to continue where we left off with going around the airport. But before that, I'm right here with fashion jewelry. Well, let me flip the camera so that you'll see it. So here we have fashion jewelry, like uh, like different fashion jewelry. You have Swarovski, you have Tati Ocean right there, like different fashion jewelry, and they're super cute. I mean, if you're into that, and then there's different brands as well, which it's only now that I'm actually getting to discover. House of Dietrich, contemporary jewelry. They're super nice, right? Like. Okay, so when you're facing Hermes and you go towards your right, you will see Saint Laurent and then you'll also see Burberry. This side is already gate C. Let us explore what we can find in gate C. Like this, you have the traditional clothing, which are super, super nice. And then here as well. Oh, they have gold. Wow. Gold shop. Well, there are gold shops, especially if you're in the Middle East. Gold is quite okay, like a good investment somehow. And then you have Burberry right there. 
um, Victoria's Secret pink. Ah, this is where it is. I was looking for it because I saw it in the, the board. This is where it is. So here you have Victoria's Secret pink, Foot Locker, you have Muji to go. There's another Victoria's Secret right at the corner right there. And then Bath and Body Works. Electronic shop. Hmm. This is gate C, so all the gates of C will be right there. And there's a lounge right there. Oh, actually, let me look for my lounge. <laughs> right here, we're going to Pearl Lounge. Because, according to... Um, what do you call this? <laughs> I don't know how to speak now. According to my card, Pearl Lounge is the lounge for access. So, let's go and check into the lounge and access. Eat a bit. Okay, so we are at this area, this lounge. This is the bar area or the terrace bar. And right over there is the departure area when you can actually see it from that side. But uh, I don't see what I'm looking for. Let's go into the other side. There's actually different parts of their lounge. It's super good. And the area is super cozy, like very cozy. This here is where we were actually, the dining area, where the food is. All the food is here. Foodie, foodie, foodie. You have salads, and you have um, hot meals on that side. And then you have fruits and dessert on the other side. Lovely. Okay, because we didn't find what we were looking for on the first bar area, there's another part where we can get. Um, oh, wow, this is like huge, 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 huge lounge. But uh, there's another bar area. Let's see if we can find something. So this is the second space, which is, I think, more or less the same as the other one. Breads, pastries. I think because there's less people here. Uh, food is more complete with all the cold cuts. And then you have a bit more of breakfast here. Sausages, eggs. A lot more options. Then we go to the other side because the bar is on the other side. That is our purpose. But I'm not really gonna be drinking. <laughs> I just need Coke Zero. Yes, I need Coke Zero. Okay, there it is. So, already done from the lounge and I'm full, a little bit refreshed, and we're going to our gate. Our gate is at B12. I'll see you at the gate, okay? Going towards the gate, there's still more shops, well, duty-free shops. And it's still a huge area, like, wow, super huge area. Let us go to... B12. Well, as far as I can remember, it's supposed to be B12. So, I hope I remember right. I think it's right because I see the Qatar Airways logo. So we're going to B12. So, we're already inside the departure gate, but uh, we're waiting for our zone number to be called. So, we're in zone 3, waiting, waiting. Waiting. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I guess I'll be leaving our vlog here. I hope you enjoyed our mini mini tour at Zayed International Airport here in Abu Dhabi. The next time you see me, we'll be in Hamad International Airport in Qatar. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.